you've been involved in some very serious and important discussions recently within SIBSI about how we develop thought leadership, how we develop better knowledge and better information. And I think tonight's document is, is an, a great opportunity to see just what can be produced by some very hard working individuals. TM54 is uh, an example of quality um, information that engineers, clients and practitioners out in the uh, built environment need as they come more and more into the world of energy efficiency, of reducing energy reduction, all building up towards uh, improving the way in which buildings and cities uh, reduce their carbon footprint uh, in relationship to climate change. We think TM54 is very important because it's going to help designers and clients uh, better evaluate energy use at the design stage and rather than using part L calculations which uh, only show you part of the picture, we're hoping that this will show them the whole picture and help them understand how they can reduce their energy performance based on the uh, design stage um, decisions that you make and also how the operational stage might help them improve performance as well. well what we hope is by giving people better calculations uh, that uh, people will understand better where the energy use is going in their building, where it will be going when they're going and hopefully that will mean that we will be designing better buildings and the people running the buildings will be more aware of what it should be doing and what it could be doing. Whilst building regs um, is very interesting, you know, it's helpful. Part L is a great comparative tool and it means we can pass planning. Actually, what matters to us on a day-to-day -day basis is our operational energy and that's why TM54 is a real step forward. But as well as actually um, closing the performance gap, it's also about managing expectations and closing the expectation gap. Um, not only expectations internally, but expectations for our tenants. Um, it's very important that the information that we give to them is um, relevant and correct because some of them rely on um, information like this to actually do their business planning and make sure their businesses survive. TM54 um, provides a framework that facilitates discussions between designers and clients and end users ultimately. So although we can't promise that this discussion, this dialogue will happen, we're definitely facilitating it by encouraging that detailed conversation and by providing a framework on how um, that conversation and how that dialogue should go between designer, client and end user. Um, designer is likely to have more informed um, details about how the building is likely to be operated, but more, most importantly, being able to use that information in an um, informative way. What we suggest is that this process be undertaken not just once, but um, throughout your design process. Genuinely tools that give a really robust and clear way for consultants to work through things and then be able to present us with information that's meaningful to them and therefore more, more meaningful to us is really helpful and so therefore we're very much behind TM54. Tonight on the panel we have the three speakers I've already introduced and also an extra special guest is John Field. The table at the back, which I absolutely love, the, showing all, all the different, how the different um, scenarios are, are mapped out on the ranges, I think would be a, a very good way of engaging with the client. Um, and it's not in least implying that the clients uh, are, are, are dim, it's just that people aren't used to it and they haven't, they haven't done it before. But I think this uh, TM54 is a really good way of going about that. So thank you to all of you for your contributions tonight and I think a, a great big Sibsi uh, warm thank you for all our presenters and our panellists please.